I'm sorry for the cryptic late night texts, but I promised I'd fill you on the way here, and I am a girl who keeps her promises. So, this boy was found two hours ago in the middle of nowhere. T technically, he was found outside of Crawford, Arizona. My point is, he has clearly been to super hell and escaped some sort of captivity. Well, how do we know he wasn't just dropped off there? Well, he has fresh cuts on the bottom of his feet from the local cactus fields, and that's away from any through roads, and his skin is rubbed raw around his ankles from chains. He must have had a chance to escape, and he took it. Or the unsub could have had him in transit. My God, you guys look at his eyes. Yeah, he's jaundice. Probably hasn't seen daylight in a while. Man, there's a lot of scars here. Those are the ones we can see. No, it's hard to tell for certain, but he's maybe 13. Are there any missing children in the area, Garcia? Yeah, none until now, but sir, you may have more information than I do. I do. Earlier tonight, another boy was reported missing in Flagstaff. That's not that far. Can't be a coincidence. Yeah. Technically, it could, but Arizona has the lowest abduction rate in the country, so the chances of these cases not being related are ridiculously slim. Yeah, that's why child abduction rapid deployment will meet you on the ground. Uh, the Flagstaff abduction is Billy Henderson, 13. His parents say he was coming back from a friend's house after dinner. He never made it. OK, they set up roadblocks, but the unsub has a head start. Right now, our best chance of finding Billy Henderson is to figure out what the first victim knows. Exactly. So, Morgan, you and JJ go to the hospital, see if you can get through to him. The rest of us will set up at the police station. Losing this victim's likely enraged the unsub. No telling what he'll do to Billy.